Hi guys, just thought I'd do a quick video. It's my first one putting up on YouTube, or well, one of them. Anyway, I've got a um, had a problem with my Compact Flash card on my Canon 7D. Um, it could happen to any camera. In fact, any camera that takes a, a Compact Flash um, risk doing this. So I um, inserted a, a Compact Flash card. Um, it was this one, but uh, um, I don't think it was anything to do with the fact of uh, anything to do with the brand, it's a great brand uh, um, must have been just the way that I inserted it or, or for whatever reason anyway um, I took out one card, put this one back in or put this one in and uh, it came up with a when I put it in it came up in there, I couldn't read the card uh, it came up with a CF card error uh, maybe a 02 or something like that anyway couldn't couldn't uh, no longer use a camera, couldn't uh, take any photos, couldn't play back anything that was on the card obviously because it's not working not reading it um, so I took it back out thinking it was the card and uh, put the old one back in and same thing uh, wasn't working, came with an error and I told my wife she wasn't too happy with that called Canon well a repair place and it was going to cost me $350 to get it fixed um, well, actually, I haven't even told you what the problem was uh, and how I figured out what the problem was. Uh, well, I figured that maybe it was something to do with the pins. Um, I'd read that, you know, maybe I bent the pins or something. I had a look inside the camera and uh, inside here, the compact flash card compartment. It's got the card in there now because I fixed it. Anyway, I had a look in there and I couldn't see any bent pins. Um, and I thought, well, maybe uh, I'll... I'll see if there's something else going on. I downloaded a photo of, of a pin layout. This is not the pin layout. Well, it is a pin layout, but it's not the actual... Uh, uh, this black housing is not for this camera. Um, it's just, uh, I suppose, a general CF card pin layout here. Um, and I noticed that the, in the uh, pin layout, there is uh, uh, there were two pins that were lower than all the other pins. This one, one here and another one here. And there were four pins that were higher that stuck uh, a mil or two higher than the other these uh, the rest of the pins so you had one here uh, a higher one here and um, two high ones here in the middle anyway um, upon close inspection inspection of my CF card slot I noticed that one of these particular pins one of these pins had been pushed uh, down lower than all the rest of the pins had been pushed down to about the height of of one of these end ones um, so then I figured oh, okay here's the problem um, and then also having a inspecting the CF card you won't be able to see it I don't think on this uh, but if you can see on the bottom one of the middle ones on the bottom uh, you can see it's had some trouble with the uh, pin going into the hole um, and so yeah it looks like the pins caught on on the lip it is beveled, all those holes are beveled, but it's still caught on the plastic lip and um, yep. And as a result, when I pushed it in, it pushed this little pin um, into the camera um, and yeah, it came out through the back I suppose. So yeah, um, as I said, $350 to fix it for a service. Um, on eBay there's some people who do the service, perform the service online, which would have meant I would have had to send it over to the States. Um, turnaround time would have been quite high but certainly a lot cheaper I didn't want to have to do that um, in either case I was really disappointed that you know such a simple uh, problem uh, or such a, a thing that can occur so easily can create such a problem so I was like oh mate must, must be some way I can fix this um, so I thought well the first option I'd look at was to see if I could get the the, uh, the pin out. Um, I looked at uh, using a, a tweezers, um, my wife's tweezers, you know, plucking out her eye, eyebrows, etc. Um, and those were fairly big, and I wasn't sure even if I uh, was able to get a hold of it if the tweezers would have enough. Um, you, if you could put it, exert enough force on them to actually pull out the uh, the pin or pull the pin back to where it's supposed to go. And uh, so what I did, uh, using a bit of uh, Mary ingenuity, um, 
I went into my toolbox and I found a, a decent, it doesn't look decent, but these actually, these uh, long nose pliers closed really well at, at the tip on the point there. Um, so what I did is I, I got a grinder and ground it down um, so that it would fit inside the CF card slot. Um, yeah, um, and also narrowed down the tip and also narrowed the very, uh, you can see I, I sort of... Uh, put a little bit of a notch in there because uh, I didn't want to uh, obstruct or damage any other pins next to it when I attempted to uh, pull out this other pin um, like that so anyway that's what I did once I ground it down and um, popped that into the CF card slot grabbed the pin that was damaged uh, clamped down on it and then and then uh, carefully, very carefully, uh, pulled it back to where it's supposed to go. Uh, and it sort of clipped straight back uh, into position when, once I pulled it. Um, but yeah, like I say, be very, very careful. Uh, there's a good chance that you'll pull that pin right out. And then uh, you might definitely need to take it in for a service after that. But anyway... Um, I actually put my hand on the edge of the camera and uh, or uh, just an object and uh, used it as a, I suppose, uh, as a fulcrum, uh, sort of like a lever, just so you had a bit more control over it to pull it back. And yeah, so that's what I did. Pulled it back and it came back into place fine. It wasn't bent at all. Um, I thought I might have damaged some of the. Uh, again, this is not the inside of my camera, but some of the uh, connectors at the back and it probably has there might be soldering or something there I'm not sure um, but it works it seemed to have worked fine um, no problems uh, putting the new car well the old car back in I, I didn't put this uh, one that had caused a problem back in probably won't um, but anyway I put it back in and uh, it, it's reading photos and everything fine um, I'll just turn it on um, I'm not familiar with this camera at all. I'm used to a, uh, a 450D, so this is an upgrade for me. Um, oh, it'll help if I close the close the um, that hinge there, the door. So I'll turn it on. Um, we'll play back some playback, and this is just a photo of my kitchen. So yeah, it's working. So before it wouldn't come up; nothing would come up at all. You couldn't play back or anything, so it's it's working fine. It's playing back okay. Um, I'll just put it into uh, change modes, um, and I'll take I'll put it onto high speed, and uh, just to see, show you that it is uh, writing to the compact flash okay. Um, and there you have it. It's uh, playing okay. So yeah, uh, hopefully it'll last. Um, again, I'll, I'll probably I'm probably going to limit, really limit, uh, taking out my compact flash card. Yeah, I'm going to have to upgrade it. Only a four gig. Um, hopefully I'll be able to. I won't get into too much trouble if I buy a 64 gig to go on it if it does work in there. Um, but yeah, now that it's I know that it had been damaged, I really want to minimise. We really want to minimise. Uh, take putting in compact flash cards in and out and um, yeah you don't want to have to do it again otherwise yeah could be going up uh, in for a, a hefty bill um, I think that's about it so uh, yeah um, hopefully it helps some people out I'd, yeah go ahead and get one of these long nose pliers um, I had a look at some micro tweezers online too but on eBay, but they just uh, like I said, these things are good because you can you could put a, a decent amount of force onto that little tip and um, and grab on. And but I suppose too these uh, you can see these are got some serrations on it. It's serrated, so uh, better chance of grabbing onto the pin. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but anyway, it is. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah, like I said, this is for a Canon. Uh, Canon 7D, but uh, it'll work for any other camera brand. Um, 
the Canon Pentax whatever uh, that takes a, a compact flash card uh, yeah it might help you out it might save you uh, a lot of money for a very simple um, problem um, then again it might not um, yeah don't damage your well don't you could don't blame me if you damage your, your camera your pins as a result I suppose it's already damaged if you're even looking at this uh, this video um, but yeah best of luck hopefully it works out f as well for you as it did for me catch up